Welcome to MCOM 320. I'm one of your TAs. My name is Nicholas Oxenden, but you can always call me Nick. I am originally from North Carolina, but my family has lived across the United States, and I've lived internationally with my family in Hong Kong, and my dad has recently returned from living in London. So my family's from a few different places, but originally from North Carolina. I'm so excited to be here with you for fall semester. I love MCOM 320. In this video, we are going to go through Slack, and I'm going to show you how to use the different features that are found on Slack. Slack is going to be like our online classroom that we use this semester to communicate with each other, to interact with each other, and to have fun. So let's go through how you accept the invitation to join our Slack workspace. You are going to receive an email that looks like this. It will say that MCOM TA320 has invited you to work with them on Slack. That email comes from us. When you receive that email, scroll down to the Join Now and click the Join Now button. This will take you to our Slack workspace. Let's begin by learning how to edit our personal profiles. To do that, we go to the top right hand corner of the page and we can click here and then select edit profile. Here your profile information will come up. You can edit your name, your display name. You're welcome to include contact information. I've included our TA email address. Please feel free to email Brooklyn and I there if you do not want to message us through Slack. Please upload a profile picture. We would love to be able to assign faces to names and this Slack space is going to be like our online classroom. So this is where we're going to communicate with each other. So please, please do upload a profile photo so that we can have more personal communications. Our Slack workspace is organized into many different channels. We want MCOM320 to be a fun experience for all who participate. And so we've created some fun channels. This channel is a place for us to celebrate our birthdays. We understand that not everyone is going to have a birthday during fall semester, but if you do, please let us know and we would love to celebrate with you. Next is a general questions channel. This is a great place to ask your general questions. If you have a question, please feel free to include it here in this chat. You're also welcome to reach out to me, Brooklyn, or Professor Pack with any questions that you have. This next channel is Good Eats in Utah County. If you found a great place to eat, let us know. We would love to be aware of that. The next channel is Good News. This is a place for us to share our successes, no matter how small. If you've experienced great success or small successes during the semester, please share it with the class. This is going to be a fun space for us to talk about the great things that happen in our lives. The next channel is a Grammar Memes channel. Grammar is going to be very important to us in MCOM 320, and to maybe lighten the way we feel about grammar, we've created a Grammar Memes channel. So have at it. Upload your favorite grammar memes or make your own. We look forward to seeing what you think of. The next channel is Professor Pack's Perfect Playlist. So Professor Pack is going to take what is put into this channel and create a Spotify playlist for all of us to enjoy while we study. So if you have a favorite song or something that you love to study to, please upload it here and Professor Pack will, will take that. If you make your own music, here's your place to, to share it with us. I really look forward to seeing what all we choose to put in here. Also in Slack, you can send direct messages to other students in the course. This is a good time to mention that our Slack workspace is going to include both sections of MCOM 320. So you will be in a Slack workspace with people within your section and people who are not in your section. But you're welcome to communicate with each other through direct messaging. As you begin working on your team project and do other collaborative activities, you'll find that Slack is a great space to coordinate your efforts with your peers. I really enjoy using Slack to message others in the course. If you click on your name in the direct messages, this is a place for you to message yourself 
And to, as Slack says, think of this as a scratch pad, a place for jotting down notes or drawing up a to-do list. You'll also see here that we have some custom emojis. To access those, you can click on the little emoji uh, icon here, and you can go all the way down to the bottom. So we've made some emojis pretty accessible. You'll notice that things like the check mark and the puzzle piece, these coordinate to different emojis you'll see in Canvas that designate things like assignments, activities, quizzes. We've even added a Book of Mormon emoji and an Angel Moroni emoji. So you're welcome to use these as you communicate with each other. And there are actually ways that we can add more. So if you have one that you'd like to submit that you think other people would enjoy, please contact either me or Brooklyn and we'd be happy to upload that so y'all can use it. If for any reason you choose to drop the course, please remove yourself from our Slack workspace. I will go through how to do that. So to do that, we click on the course title here. We go down to administration and hit customize MCOM320. It'll take us to a page like this. From here, you can click on the menu page, go to home. Then you can go to account settings. And then please go down to deactivate your account. We hope that everyone in the course will stay with us, but if for any reason anyone needs to withdraw from the course, please follow these steps to deactivate your Slack account and remove yourself from our workspace. There are certainly some features that I have not covered in this navigation video. Please go into Slack and click around, experiment, if you have any questions on how to use Slack, please don't hesitate to ask Brooklyn or me the questions that you have. We are happy to help. Thank you for watching this brief navigation video. I look forward to meeting and interacting with each of you. I know that MCOM320 can be a challenging course, but I also know that each of you can succeed here. I also took this course online through this delivery method. I know that success is possible here and I recommend investing as much time as you're able to into this course. You will reap rewards if you will choose to diligently study, learn the material. You will learn how to be an effective communicator both in your educational experience and in your professional career. Best of luck in the course!